Good evening. Last case. This might be our last break of the night, too. Maybe. We still have time to squeeze in some one-box breaks towards the end. Maybe something on 10bugbreaks.com. Check it out. As for Bowman Draft Baseball, big thanks to everybody. We did 30 of these half-case breaks. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 2017 Bowman Draft Baseball. Four-box, half-case, jumbo. Second half of the case, random team break number 30. There it is right there. Big thanks to all of these folks who got into the action. And remember the combo teams right there. Let's randomize each list. Three and a one, four easy times. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Tyler down to Tyler. Three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one, four times. Rays down to Mets. A lot of things happening here. I'm watching the Trailblazers Sixers game. Sixers are trying to trying to keep it close. And the Vegas Golden Knights just beat the Kings 3-2 in overtime, which was unexpected. Golden Knights are playing well. Curtis saying that the Flames and Sharks are going to overtime. We need the Sharks to lose. Let me know what happens there, Curtis. Tyler with the Rays. Darren, you got the Angels. EA with the White Sox. Landon, Last Spot Mojo, Diamondbacks. Mark, got my Dodgers. Eric with the Cardinals Nationals combo. Tice with the Brew Crew. Colin with the Phillies. Uh, Landon with the Reds. Eric with the Marlins. Brian K with the Indians. Mark with the Rockies. Jason with the Astros. Aaron with the Royals. Colin with the Twins. Rich with the Red Sox and the Giants. Aaron with the Blue Jays. Eric with the Orioles. Cubs combo. V with the Braves. Eric with the A's. Rich with with the Tigers, Mike Koontz with the Rangers, Rich with the Yankees, Rory with the Mariners, Brian with the pay, uh, almost said Patriots, Pirates, uh, Padres for Tyler and Mets. Rory has the Mariners for trade if anybody's interested. All right, let me print this out. Good luck, everybody. I'll give it a few more seconds for trades. Um, yeah, the. the I, I saw that both Adam and and Rip and Flip in the Breakers out TV stream saying Celtics knocking off the Rockets after a 26 point deficit. See, I, I think this is why the Rockets. I don't know. There's 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 something not quite right there. You know what I mean? This is why like they they've played somewhat poorly in the playoffs. You know. They've, they've struggled for some reason. They just kind of fall apart. I don't know. There's like some lack of... They have talent, but maybe... Maybe mental toughness maybe is just not quite there. Something. Just something. But games like this, this is what happens. Like, 26-point deficit. And rip and flip. Uh, is it possible to transfer eBay gift card balance to PayPal? I don't think so. Unless you buy a PayPal gift card with the... Something like that. With, with your eBay gift card. Um, Tice, maybe Rory will take the Brewers off your hands for the Mariners. In fact, that's a perfect trade. Rory is a Brewers fan. Tice is a Mariners fan. What do you think? Yeah, Indians have good prospects. They have Francisco Mejia would be the big one. That's their big catching prospect coming up the ranks. What's up, Creep? Tyus, interested? Deal? I think that's a relatively fair deal. I mean, especially if you don't want the if you don't want the dime or the uh, Brewers. All right. Okay, confirmed. So you got you each have your own PC teams right there. There you go. Brewers for uh, Mariners confirm. So let's get Rory in the Brewer spot. Tice in the Mariner spot. Let me just mark this down on my paperwork here. That worked out nicely. Everyone gets their PC teams. All right. All right, TWC means trade window closed. And there it is. Good luck, folks. Landing with that last spot mojo. There's the trade right there. Good luck, everybody. 
The first four boxes is is a different break. That, that's in a, that's break twenty nine. That video is already uploaded on our YouTube channel. Okay. Just be yourself, creep. That's what I say. All right. And don't don't promote yourself on other people's channels. That too. All right. Good luck, everybody. This is our last half of the case. And our last case of Bowman Draft Jumbo Edition for a while. Um, we do have... I think we're getting super jumbo. I gotta, I gotta confirm that. I don't know what we're, how we're gonna do that, but I'm sure we'll, we'll do more random team breaks like this. I think this has been a pretty successful, sweet spot for this break. I don't know how many autographs super jumbo has. So this is regular jumbo, uh, which is three autographs per box. What does super jumbo have? Four, five. Someone was saying that the that the pack that the card configuration is different too. Five says Rich and BP. Okay. Thanks. So we'll keep an eye out on jazbeeshobbyland.com for that. One auto per pack. I see. Gotcha. Well, that should be fun. Uh, does does super the super jumbo have um, does super jumbo have anything like especial that's not found in regular jumbo or is it pretty much the same? All right, here we go. Joe Perez leads things off. That's just paper, and here is the chrome green paper. We will ship. Ovs Kyle Lewis. 96 out of 99. Nice Kyle Lewis for uh, for Tice and his Mariners. Yeah, that's in Super Jumbo, BP. <laughs> That'd be interesting. If that came out of Super Jumbo. It's like and... Here's Royce Lewis and Titania. Uh, Chris saying no orange paper or chrome in Super Jumbo. Gotcha. <laughs> A lot of those autos in there. BP, that'd be funny. Yeah, we've got Francisco Mejia and next up is Svetlana and Anya, you know, and Sasha, no, Sasha's actually a guy's name in Russian. Gavin Sheets. Son of Larry Sheets. Everyone remembers Larry Sheets, right? White Sox. EA Sports it's in the game. The only reason why I know that is because of that right there. 76 out of 499. That's going to win me a bar bet someday. Not Ben Sheets. Originally, I thought it was Ben Sheets. No, Larry Sheets. Ben Sheets was a former brewer, was he not, Rory? My memory serves me correctly, or maybe incorrectly, as the case may be. All right, Cade McClure. Hi, I'm Troy McClure. 51 out of 399. Shy Sox, EA Sports is in the game. We'll sleeve all of those up and we'll top load them before we ship them out. What happened to Ben Sheets? I feel like Ben Sheets was was on the cusp of being like, maybe he had a couple really nice seasons. Maybe a couple all-star seasons, Ben Sheets. Gold Dylan Carlson. Any relation to Sam Carlson? 31 out of 50. That card is gold. Has been a switch hitter since the age of five? Look at that. Come on. 
I could just imagine like I could just imagine like overbearing like baseball mom or dad who's just like you're switch hitting son you're gonna throw left handed I don't think he's a le does he throw left hand actually what does he throw you're gonna throw left handed and you're gonna switch hit he throws left ha there you go see you're throwing left handed you're switch hitting It'll be funny if he's like if he's right-handed everything everything else right slide right-handed. All right, we got Charlie Barnes. I don't think no relation to Austin Barnes on the Dodgers. Two one sixty-eight out of three ninety-nine. And there's Joe Perez. We let off the break with him with some Joe Perez paper. That goes to the Strohs. That is for Jason Cox and the Astros. 113 out of 250. What, what are you? Second round pick. What are you? Second round pick. There's Dylan Busby. That's 252 out of 499 for the Pirates. That'll be for Brian Matoy. Luis Ortiz for the Brewers. That'll be for Rory. 38 out of 200. That's the 70th version of the blue. And Nate Pearson for Aaron and the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays. Nice. Late first round pick for the Bluebirds. All right. Nice first box. Second box coming up. Oh, a box top. Sometimes those are autographed. We'll do that last. That's what happened to Ben Sheets. Um, speaking of Ben Sheets, what are some good, uh, what are some good, like, players that never were from like the from that era, from that Ben Sheets era? I feel like there's a lot of players like that. Ben Sheets, who was drafted back. In the early 2000s, I think. Maybe in the late 90s. Yeah. First round, 10th overall by the Brewers in 1999. Actually, I'm going to go through. Let's let's take a trip down memory lane while, while we go through this break. Just to spice up the break a little bit. So, 1999, from just, just before the turn of the century... Guess who is who is your don't look who is your number one overall pick in 1999? You guys remember? Tampa Bay Devil Rays took this pick. Same draft as Barry Zito actually. He did not go number one though. He went number nine. It was Josh Hamilton. Josh Hamilton then Josh Beckett. 
So they, they had decent careers, I guess. All right, I think Chris got it. You, did you cheat, Chris? 330, 384 out of 499. Anderson Espinoza. Echoes the Friars. That'll be for Tyler. Um, Beckett with the Marlins. So that was a pretty good pick. So uh, some of these guys I don't remember, but I do remember Eric Munson. You guys remember Eric Munson? Eric Munson was supposed to be like a thing. He was supposed to be pretty good. But I don't think he quite put it together. Um, Barry Zito was 9. Ben Sheets was 10. Both of them were all-stars. That's not bad. If you get at least an all-star year, that's not too shabby, right? If you get that out of a player. I'm just, I'm just looking at top 10 right here. I guess other... Other notables, Alex Rios was number 19. Um, he was Ma Mike McDougal. Remember Mike McDougal? So he was an all-star too. I don't think anyone else pops out at me. Kurt Ainsworth, I think, was supposed to be a thing. Brett Myers for the Phillies. All right, who's your number one overall pick in 2000? There's Adonis Medina. 85 out of 200. That goes to the Phillies. That's for Colin. Number one overall in 2000. In the year 2000. In the year 2000. Not Brian Taylor. He was an all-star. First baseman drafted by the Marlins. There's JJ. I almost said Watt. Matejevich for the Houston Astros. That'll be for Jason Cox. Refractor autograph out of 499, 75th overall pick. Adrian Gonzalez was your number one overall in 2000. I don't think I remember anybody else in this draft class that might have been worth anything or that I thought might have been worth something. Rocco Baldelli, he was a, he, there's a name. You guys remember Rocco Baldelli? And who else? Chase Utley. Was drafted 15th. He, he did fine. Adam Wainwright. Late first round pick. I don't... None of these other names jump out at me. All right. What about... 2001, number one overall pick in 2001. This top five is pretty good. Number one overall in 2001. Any guesses? We got Jacob Pearson for the Angels. 341 out of 399 for DMAC. Recommended viewing, 82 out of 250, both for the Twins. Oh, we've got a lot of boxes to go, Brian. Yeah, <laughs> both Rory, Tice, Andy Garner all saying, man, if this was football, I'll be able to tell you. Alex Fiedo, yeah, baseball's a little tough. Joe Maurer was the number one overall pick in 2001. He did fine. Tigers, that goes. this goes to Rich Schmidt, by the way. The number two pick, this is where Mark Pryor was. Your number five overall pick in 2001 was uh, Mark Teixeira. It's your 18th overall pick for Fiedo. That's for Rich. Now, there's names up here that kind of... I remember, but never really made, ended up being anything. Gavin Floyd, remember Gavin Floyd? He was drafted fourth overall. I don't, Dewan Breselton, I don't, I don't, I don't even know what happened to him. Um, who else is familiar on this list? Casey Kochman, remember Casey Kochman for the Angels? That's about it. Mike Fontenot was a number 19 overall pick. 
Delvin Perez, 76 out of 150. First rounder, 23rd overall. That's for the Cardinals Nationals combo. That'll be for EA Sports. Some red coming up. It's paper and it's TJ Friedel. Red, three out of five. Red parallel for the Reds. That is for Landon. Nice, Landon. Three out of five, and an all aboard. The Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Nice. Blaine Enloe, 148 out of 399 for the Twinkies. Twins, that'll be for Colin. It should be seen. Oh, there it is. One more autograph. There it is. Taylor Walls. Taylor Walls for Tyler and the Rays. So that's your third and final autograph out of box two. Two more boxes to go. Halfway through this half case break. David Wright was also drafted in a supplemental round in, uh, in 2001. I don't remember where, where Albert Pujols was drafted. Let me look really quick. Looks like... Yeah, he was drafted super late, though. 13th round in the 1999 draft. Who was the number one overall in 2002? Yeah, BJ Upton was was a uh, second overall. Who, who was drafted ahead of B.J. Upton? The Pirates had that pick from Ball State University. I, I don't even I don't remember this guy at all. Brian Bullington, right-handed pitcher out of Ball State University, number one overall. B.J. Upton was two. I don't know who any of the top five are. Chris Gruler for the Reds? Nope. Didn't do anything. Adam Lowen, Orioles? Don't remember him. Clint Everts for the Expos? Don't remember him. Number six, though, I remember. Zach Ranke. Royals picked up Zach Ranke. He turned out to be okay. <laughs> Bustington, more like, right, Brian? Um, Prince Fielder, number seven. Brew Crew. Even Joe Saunders was an all-star. Twelfth overall for the Angels. Scott Kazmier, 15th. Nick Swisher was 16. Cole Hamels was 17. All All-Stars at least once. Ah, James Loney came out of this class too. James Loney, always a good bat, great glove. I think the Dodgers ended up giving up on him because they really thought his power was going to appear. Oh, here's a good one. Everyone was falling over themselves over Jeff Francoeur, 23rd overall, picked by the Braves in 2002. Matt Kane was picked 25th. There's a lot of familiar names here. Joe Blanton picked 24th. Jeremy Guthrie. Denard Spann is in this class. All right. Who was your number one overall in 2003? Uh, no, 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 uh, no, not Rick and I feel like that's a good guess, though. Uh, Delman Young for the Rays. 
There's Royce Lewis for the Twins. That goes to Colin. Nice. 24 out of 399. That's your first overall pick in 2017. So when we do this quiz later. Rory, do you know who was drafted second overall in 2003? He was, it was a Brewers pick. A second baseman from Southern University. Sound familiar? It was Delman Young. Correct, Rory. It was uh, Ricky Weeks. And there's Clark Schmidt for the Yankees. That'll go to Rich Schmidt. Rich Schmidt and Clark Schmidt. Any relations? Oh, Nino saying looks like contenders up on the main site. At a 490. Yeah, Nick said he was going to post absolute basketball on the main site tonight, too, allegedly. But this this has a bunch of people that I don't. That could have been somebody, didn't end up being somebody's in the 2003 draft class. Uh, Tim Stoffer, remember it's Tim Stoffer. Nick Markakis is in here. In that class, he was drafted by the Orioles, seventh overall. Aaron Hill turned out to be an all star. He was a 13th overall pick. Rory's brother, Ryan Wagner, was drafted by the Reds, 14th overall. Chad Cordero, Chad Billingsley was in this class too. Carlos Quinton was drafted late by the Diamondbacks. He ended up being an all-star. Will this guy end up being an all-star? I don't know, maybe. Christopher Cisse for the Rangers. That'll go to Mike Kuntz. 29th overall pick. Carlos Quinton was a 29th overall pick in 2003. He ended up being an all-star. That's an, I don't think I've seen an, a parallel for this guy. Yusniel Diaz. 126 out of 250. One of the... Uh, one of the more higher, highly rated prospects for the Dodgers. That goes to Mark Glassman. Two thousand four. Who was your number one overall pick in two thousand four? By the Padres. And some gold paper. Nick Gordon for the Twins. That's for Colin. Thirty one out of fifty. Your fifth overall pick back in two thousand fourteen. Nice. That card is gold, Colin. Mr. Prism Time, Matt Bush. Yep. Matt Bush was number one. Verlander was second overall. And the top five rounded out by people that I do not know. There's Gavin Sheets for the White Sox. That'll be for EA. Philip Humber. I don't remember Philip Humber. Jeff Neiman. Don't remember Jeff Neiman. Mark Rogers was fifth. Jeremy Sal. I know Homer Bailey is seventh overall. What else? Neil Walker for the Pirates. Jared Weaver ended up being an All Star. He was twelfth overall. Billy Butler was in this class. Stephen Drew. Scott Elbert. He didn't. He didn't amount to anything. Trevor Pluff. Glenn Perkins. Phil Hughes. Both All Stars there. Kyle Waldrop is in that class too. Blake Dewitt. Remember Blake Dewitt for the Dodgers? Played second baseman for half a second. 2005, oh, this is a great class. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight All-Stars in the first top 12 picks in 2005. Who was number one in 2005? See, this is the class we want this year to be. Paven Smith, Diamondback seventh overall pick. In 2017, in 2005, they had the number one overall pick. Yep, that's where Justin Upton goes. Justin Upton was the number one overall pick. This was a fantastic draft class. I don't know why this isn't going into this top loader here. 
has the Diamondbacks in this? Oh, Landon with the Diamondbacks. Last spot, Mojo. There we go. Those top loaders were cut a little narrow. There's Paven Smith out of 99. Seventh overall pick. That's a nice one for Landon and last spot, Mojo. That's pretty strong. Paper, Kevin Maiton. More paper here. So um, so in 2005, Justin Upton was your number one overall pick. He's pretty solid, I'd say. There's Brandon Little out of 499 for the Cubbies. Uh, the only guy, Jeff Clement didn't really do much. I remember him, though. Ryan Zimmerman was four. That's pretty strong. Ryan Braun was five. He wasn't. He's pretty strong. Ricky Romero was six. He was an all-star. There's Tulo at number seven. Wayne Townsend didn't do anything. Neither did Mike Pelfrey. Cameron Mabern did, did all right. 17 out of 200. The year before was Verlander was 2004. It's another one for the Cubs. That'll be for EA. This class also had the 11th overall in 2005 was Andrew McCutcheon. 11th and Jay Bruce number 12. And then nobody no no one really else after that. And Ellsbury down at the 23rd spot by the Red Sox. Looks like that was a compensation pick. All right. Number 1 overall in 2006. Any guesses there? Number one overall, and this was a good draft class too. One, two, three, four, five of the top 11 ended up being, at least making one all-star appearance. It's not too shabby. Yeah, there's, I mean, that's that's the thing with baseball. It's, it is amazing how there's a lot of first round fails. Some of them are here, some of them are great. Some of them are fails. It's like, it's the crazy thing about baseball. No, not Longoria. Close. Longoria was drafted third overall in 2006. Pick two by the Rockies was Stanford's Greg Reynolds. I don't remember him. I do remember this guy, though, the number one overall for the Royals. A pitcher from Tennessee, Luke Hochevar. Now, Luke Hochevar, he was supposed to be, like, everyone was gushing over Luke Hochevar back in the day. Um... Brandon Morrow is a reliever extraordinaire now, was fifth overall. Andrew Miller is sixth overall. Clayton Kershaw drafted seventh overall. Tim Lincecum, number ten, uh, tenth overall. Max Scherzer, eleventh overall by the Diamondbacks. He was originally drafted by the Diamondbacks, Max Scherzer. And. Kyle Drabeck was in this class. Hank Conger was a late first round pick. Daniel Bard, Kyle McCulloch, Adam Otavin, Otavino. Dude, what happened to Scherzer? Why did they? So he'd, he'd got two years in. Hmm. On December 9th, 2009, Scherzer was traded along with Daniel Schlereth, Phil Koch, and Austin Jackson to the Tigers as a part as a part of a three-team deal that brought Ian Kennedy and Edwin Jackson to the Diamondbacks and Curtis Granderson to the Yankees. I'm thinking the I'm thinking the Diamondbacks want that one back. I'm thinking the Diamondbacks want that one back. All right, 2007. Who was your number one overall in 2007? Tampa Bay Rays had the pick. It was a Vanderbilt pitcher. Those Vandy pitchers are pretty strong. Royce Lewis, another one. 180 out of 499 for Colin. Any guesses? 
number one overall, 2007. That's right, David Price. BP's got it. And there's Kyle Tucker and a Jacob Pearson autograph. Kyle Tucker for the Astros, that'll be for Jason Cox. 1999, that's Prince. And your blue chrome autograph, Jacob Pearson for the Angels, DMAC. This was a nice class too. David Price was number one for the Rays. Mike Moustakis was two. I don't remember Josh Vitters or Daniel Moskos. But there's Matt Wieters at number five. Ah, Matt Wieters was an all-star, but I feel like his production tailed off pretty quickly after a little while. Um, Ross Detweiler. Jared Park. Matt and Bumgarner is in this class. Jason Hayward is in this class. Devin Masarocco is in this class. Uh, probably tomorrow, Joe P. 82 out of 150. Kanan Smith. Yankees. Yankees blue paper goes to Rich. Um, do I know any of these guys here? Chris Withrow was supposed to be a big big name for the Dodgers. J.P. Aaron Sibia. Well, it's not going to happen tonight, Joe P. Never sorry. I mean, I always think it's going to break. Every day I think Transcendent is going to break. I would imagine tomorrow. I believe that, for reals. 110 out of 399, Kyle Wright. That's a nice one for the Braves for V. Remember, J.P. Aaron Sibia was supposed to be like this power-hitting kind of catcher, like a Mike Piazza type. You know, decent defense, but he, he had some pop in that bat. But... Rick, yeah, Rick Porcello is in this. Did someone mention Porcello? No, maybe not. Oh, yeah, BP did. Yeah, Porcello was in this class, 27th overall. Ben Revere was a pick, too. I think there was some buzz about Ben Revere. 2008. Someone guessed this way too early. But 2008, who's number one? 2008, another number one overall pick for the Tampa Bay Rays. Shortstop out of high school in Georgia. Nice Brent Rooker for Colin and the Twins. Not Posey. Posey was fifth overall in this class. He got the year right. I don't think I would have been able to guess the year. Longoria was the previous year, Joe P. Yep, that's where Tim Beckham was drafted. He was supposed to be a big deal. He never quite did anything. Uh, Pedro Alvarez was your second overall. Then Eric Hosmer. I don't remember Brian... Matuzzi. Matuze for the Orioles out of San Diego. I think that's where Chris Bryant went to high school or college. Um, Buster Posey was fifth. Don't remember Kyle Skipworth. Yonder Alonso was an all star. Gordon Beckham, I know. Aaron Crow did not sign. Jason Castro was 10th. Justin Smoke was 11th. Jameel Weeks. Remember Jameel Weeks? Aaron Hicks was in this class. Brett Lowry is in this class. There's Will Gaddis for the Rockies. That's out of 499. Um, who else do I remember that never really panned out? Andrew Kashner, maybe? Ike Davis is in there. Remember, Ike Davis was supposed to be like a power hitting first baseman. Garrett Cole's in this class. He didn't sign, though. He got signed by the Yankees, or drafted by the Yankees, he didn't sign. Lonnie Chisenhall's in this, too. He was a late pick, though. 2009. Who was number one overall in 2009? Most people should get this, I think. It's recent enough. And we're looking for one more autograph out of here. And there it is. Austin Beck, who looks like Carney Lansford to me a little bit. A little, just a little bit. A's. Eric Ange. EA Sports with the Austin Beck. Yep. 09. Strasburg. Yep, the Bowman Chrome Super Frat that sold for over $100,000. Yep. It's your sixth overall pick, Eric. This is a nice one. And that's, that. I mean, that's basically it in that class. 2009 was a little soft. Dustin Ackley never really did anything. Donovan Tate. Um, I don't remember. Tony Sanchez, Matt Hobgood, Zach Wheeler. I think is on the, uh, oh, thanks, Rory. Uh, Zach Wheeler, 
uh, Giants. There's Kyle Lewis out of 250. Mike Miner, Mike Leak didn't really do. Jacob Turn, Drew Storen that didn't really do that much. Aaron Crow ended up being an all-star. I think that was maybe once, and that was about it. Uh, Grant Green, nope, don't remember. Alex White, remember Alex Wright? AJ Pollock's in this class. Uh, Shelby Miller is in this class. And then Randall Grichuk is in this class. He was originally drafted by the Angels. Uh, and then Mike Trout fell all the way to 25th, if you guys remember that. Out of high school. Can you believe that 24 teams passed up on Mike Trout? For the Phillies, Frank Colomb, 104 out of 250. But not much out of here. 2010. Any guesses in 2010? Number one overall in 2010. I think Tice, you, you'll get this one. It's now time for that answer, Tice. So this is where we're kind of in an interesting position here in 2010 because some guys are still kind of making their way into the majors. So it remains to be seen whether these guys are, are busts or not. Yep, Bryce Harper, 2010. James and Tyon, it was a second overall pick. Tyon might be, could be an all-star someday with the Pirates. Manny Machado was third. There's Gavin Lux. He was 20th overall in 2016 out of 150 going to Mark Glassman and the Dodgers. Um, what happened to Christian Cologne? I don't know if Christian Cologne ever did anything. Drew Pomerantz is there. Matt Harvey is in there. Delano DeShields Jr. is there. I don't know if he really amounted to anything at the moment. Michael Choice, Yasmani Grandal, Chris Sale is in this class. Caleb Cowart starting to play a little bit. So there's, there's still some players. Christian Yelich is in this class. Oh, Cologne still coming up. Zach Lee was supposed to be a big one for the Dodgers. Never really quite made it there. Cam Bedrosian, I think, is doing some closing for the Angels now. So you're starting to see some of these guys emerge. All right, so that's the end of the break. We've got a box topper to go. Um, let's breeze through the rest of these drafts just for the fun of it. Garrett Cole was number one in 2011. Trevor Bauer, Dylan Bundy, there's those guys in the mix. Archie Bradley, Lindor, uh, George Springer, Jose Fernandez, RIP. Sonny Gray's in this class. Tyler Beatty, Joe Panic. Tyler Beatty didn't sign, though. In 2012, your number one overall was Carlos Correa. Byron Buxton was two. Zuninho, three. Gossman, four for the Orioles. Kyle Zimmer, fifth for the Royals. That'll be, that's interesting. Addison Russell, Corey Seager, Michael Waka in that class. 2013, number one overall, Mark Appel. He didn't sign the year before, signed in 2013. So Mark Appel, I think, still coming up, right? Chris Bryant was second overall. Here, actually, let me put that on the screen right there. Chris Bryant was second overall. There's John Gray. He's starting to get into the action there. Clint Frazier, you might see some action from him from the Yankees this year. Uh, Austin Meadows, also a guy coming up the ranks. All these guys are still coming up the ranks. Hunter Renfro. Had a pretty decent season. Braden Shipley in the mix, et cetera, et cetera. Hunter Harvey, Christian Arroyo. 2014, Brady Aiken didn't sign. Tyler Kolek, Carlos Rondon, Rodon getting some movement there. I think Nick pulled the super fracture of Carlos Rodon back in back in 14. Nick Gordon's in this class. Aaron Nola, Alex Jackson, Conforto, et cetera. It's a Trey Turner's in this class, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In 2015, most of you should start remembering this now. Swanson. Dansby Swanson. I think the day draft came out, I think Swanson was traded to the Braves shortly afterwards. Bregman for the Astros. Brandon Rogers will still see him coming up. What's happening to Dylan Tate? Didn't quite washed out with the Rangers, trying to come up with the Yankees. Kyle Tucker, Tyler J. Uh, and Ben Attendee's in there. Carson Fulmer's in there. So still a lot of promise for these guys. Still hold on to those autographs. Last year, or in 2016, number one overall was Mickey Moniak. Senzel should be coming up. Ian Anderson, Riley Pint, uh, high schoolers so that might, might take a year or so longer. Corey Ray, A.J. Puck in the mix, and obviously this year, this is the draft class that we're working with right there. Everyone's familiar with that. All right, so just to, just to finish that off. So let's see what's in here. I don't want to scratch up the... Let's, let's use this bit of cardboard right here to slice this open. Just have a little fun, Colin. Relax. <laughs> Just have a little fun. 
talking about the draft class. We're doing Bowman draft, so we're just going through some old baseball drafts. All right. And we have, wow, it's an autograph. Haven Smith. First round, seventh overall pick, Paven Smith autograph. 19 out of 35. Landed with the last spot mojo and the Arizona Diamondbacks randomized to him. What a box topper. And that's it, folks. That was break 30. We are out of Bowman Draft Jumbo for now. But keep checking back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We'll try to dig up some more. Thanks very much, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.